I really don't like how it looks like I don't have a shirt on, but I have one on. Hola, I just like it cause she bad. Hola, wait. I just like it cause she bad. Hola, wait. And she got her own bag. What's up you guys? It's your girl Kiana J here and I am back with another tutorial video for you guys. As you can tell by the title, I'm going to be showing you guys how to get this beautiful messy curly bun and ponytail. Like right now I'm wearing it in a ponytail but I'm going to show you guys how I get it in a bun too. You know like the little messy buns like so. <laughs> I'm going to be showing you guys how I do that. But before I get into that, I want to just talk about this hair just for a little bit. I have hair on my face. This hair is from a company called Elva Wigs. As you guys know, I worked with them before when I had the very short water wave hair that was from this company. And you guys absolutely love that hair on Instagram, Snapchat, YouTube, everywhere you guys was asking me where I got that wig from. And it's from Elva Wigs or Elva Hair, something like that. I don't remember, it's been a while. And it's been a while since I had this wig. Um, this is not the same wig that I wore in the first initial review that I did for this company. This is a new wig. It's a little bit longer, but same style, same wig cap, like same company, same hair, same wig. But um, I did a hair review on their hair before and I told you guys I absolutely love their hair, love their lace, love their wigs. I love the company overall. So they sent me a new wig so I could do a tutorial showing you guys how I style the wigs and how versatile their wigs are. And I'm so happy that I was able to do that because this company is just great and these wigs are so versatile. As you can see, I have on a 360 wig, meaning it's lace all around the hairline and I was able to style it in a ponytail, a bun, and the last wig I had, I was able to wear it down. So, if you guys want to know like the pros and cons about their hair, like what I like about the hair, what I dislike about the hair, you go ahead and tune into the initial review I did, like the first review I did on the hair and, you know, judge it from there. But this video, I'm just going to be showing you guys how I style it in this um, natural curly ponytail. It looks pretty natural, like it's coming out of my freaking scalp. Like their hair is so bomb. And showing you guys how I got into a bun. Cause I've been, I've been wearing this hair in a bun. I've been on Instagram live and stuff. And you guys have been telling me to do a tutorial on how I get that look. So that's what this video is about. If you guys are interested in that tutorial, stay tuned and keep on watching. I really don't like how it looks like I don't have a shirt on, but I have one on. But um, anyways, First things first, um, my hair is already like in the, it's already trained to be in a um, in a bun because when I first put my wig on, I was already wearing it in a bun. So I'm gonna just like kind of mess it up a little bit to sh and like take that formation out of there so you guys can really see how I get it into that bun. Mind you, this is a wig, which is crazy, but we're gonna make it look like our natural hair. All right, so I'm gonna just turn around so you guys can see the back. Like so. And I freaking love this hair. Like this hair is just so bomb. I love Elva Wigs Company. It's just bomb. I have my products I'm gonna be showing you guys that I use. You guys probably seen these products before on my page. These are like my favorite products when it comes to um, water wave hair or any type of curly hair, period. These are my favorite products to use. So the products that I'm going to be using to create this uh, curly, messy bun is this Texture Tamer that you get from Walmart. The company is, I don't know what the company name is, the Dukes or something? Boom, right there. You get this from Walmart. I'm also going to be using some Shea Moisture Fusion Coconut Water Weightless Styling Mousse. I was going to say mousse, but mousse. Um, I got this from the Beauty Supply. I don't know if you can find this at Walmart, but I got it from the Beauty Supply. It was $12.49, as you can see right there. I'm also gonna be using this White Peony Leave-In Conditioner, and the company is Maili. This is also from Walmart. Y'all can see that. I'm also gonna be using some Miss Jessie uh, Pillow Soft Curls. This is like, um, it's styling lotion and it smells like baby powder. It smells so freaking good. And you could get this from Walmart as well. Like, oh my gosh, it smells so good. I'm also gonna be using this Garnier Fructis Styling Volume Hairspray. This is like some good hairspray. 
like big curls and stuff like that, but I'm also gonna be using it to keep the hair down. I have my got to be glue, you guys already know. I do not use this glue to uh, glue my frontals down. I use Bold Hold or Ghost Bond. I don't use this because it does not work like that and this broke me out so bad. Like I need to do a story time on that, but this broke me out so bad. I'm also gonna be using my um, gel toothbrush thingy, wrap, whatever the heck it is. And you only need like one or two um, bobby pins. You don't need that many for this messy look. And I have a cup of water. I will use a spray bottle, but I really do not feel like using that spray bottle because I am in the living room, not in the bathroom, so I don't really feel like um, getting water everywhere. And I also have a brush. I'm gonna be dipping my brush into the water. Y'all remember how your mom used to call me hair when he's a little girl, dip the brush in the water and the brush your hair? That's basically what I'm gonna be doing. So I always do my edges last. I know you guys are looking at my edges like, oh my gosh, they look crazy and stuff, but we're gonna get all that together. So I'm gonna dip this in the water like so and just brush the hair. You wanna get some of um, the curls wet to that curly wet look, as I should say. Dip it some more. This will be much, much easier if you have a, um, what's it called, got my face wet. If you have a spray bottle, this will, doing the style will be much easier because then you could wet your entire hair, your entire head. I don't know if my frontal is lifting over there. It is this wig. I had this wig on for a while, so it's lifting on the sides because I've only been wearing it in a, in, a, in a bun and in a ponytail. So, um, you know, it's getting pretty old. So, like so. Ooh, that's cute. Gonna get the back nice and even. Even, Steven. Okay. Now, next I'm gonna take this, um, this texture tamer I was telling you guys about and put it on my head. We're gonna do, we're gonna get these curls wet at the end, but we just wanna tame the ponytail part, the part that's going in the ponytail. We wanna tame that part. And my armpits look so freaking ashy on camera. It's just deodorant, guys. They look mighty ashy, I ain't gonna lie. Okay. Then we're gonna take the Soft Pillow Curls uh, Styling Lotion. About that much is cool. Rub it in and just, you're gonna treat this like your natural hair. Like, if you used to do your natural hair into a bun, this is how I would do it. I'll also be, I'll also be brushing it at the same time. You know? I know you guys are watching this to see how, how do you like make it look natural all around the hairline. I wanna show you guys my tips because, um, I got hair on my lips. Because as you guys know, I do not glue 360 frontals down in the back because I have long, long baby hairs back there. And I do not want them to get ripped out because I cannot see what I'm doing back there. So, um, I don't glue that part down. I'd love to show you guys how I get that part to look natural in the back and on the sides. We're gonna do that afterwards. Now, um, look how, ugh, this hair is so freaking bomb, like, avoids, yes. Ooh. Okay. I'm gonna spray that all throughout the hair. I'm gonna take your hair like this, nice and easy. Y'all excuse my little ashy armpits. Wanna keep that pulled down on the side. See how it's like lifting up right there? See how it's like lifting up right there? You can see my braid and stuff. You just wanna pull that down over the ear. And we're gonna hide that. I'm gonna show you guys how to do that too. Same with this side. You can see my braid right there. Pull that down. But keep your hair in that ponytail up there. You know what I'm saying? And it should be a comb in the back. Yes. 
you know, clip that in there. All right, boom, pal. Boom, pal. <laughs> yes, sir. Okay. Now first, what we want to do is, it pulled up again, just pull it down. Your wig should be secured in the front and the ponytail should be secured so you have nothing to worry about. Okay, pull that down in the back like so. I'm not sure if you guys can see. I'm not sure if you guys can see that. But keep it pulled down. And then you're gonna take your comb in the back and just clip it up there. All right. And what I like to do to hide that is I like to take some hairs out. Now, mind you, when you take these hairs out, the hair is going to be long, but I cut mine. So it looks like natural, um, so it looks like natural baby hair, as you can see. And most, some of this is my baby hair too, in the back. So if you got hair that's close to this texture, it will be easy to take some of your hair out in the back too. So you could cover that, um, the tracks back there. My hair in the back is really close to this texture. Like this is my hair and this is the wig. Very similar, very similar curl pattern in the back and texture. So just play with it back there. Um, so if you want to do a ponytail, this is how it will look like a curly, messy ponytail. But before I show you how it really, really looks, I'm gonna do my edges first. I like to use my got to be glue. I like to use just a little bit, like a dab, because I don't like them hard, crunchy edges. <laughs> so just gonna swoopity swoop. This is really hard doing this in the viewfinder, but I am trying. So my edges are swooped. I kind of don't like how it's a gap right here. I don't know why, it's because I really cannot see. So if my edges look crazy, I'm so sorry. My edges are done. So this is how it will look if you have a curly ponytail. Now I'm gonna show you guys how I achieve that messy curly bun. So I like to just take the whole ponytail and just fluff it to the front like that. How cute is that? That is so freaking cute. Okay, anyways, take it to the front like that. You know, usually I'll wet this, this part, but this looks, this looks pretty darn good. This looks really pretty like that. Like I don't even need to wet it. I like to pull out some curls like that. So I have that like messy look. You're just playing with it basically. Tuck it. So it should already be in the perfect bun state before you even bobby pin it. Bobby pin it like that. See how easy that is? Literally, literally took like two minutes. Not even two minutes, like two seconds. Okay. And why does my hair look crazy right here? What is going on? Anyways, and this will be the curly, messy bun. Okay, very natural looking. Um, let's just pretend that my hair looks okay right here because I don't know what's going on. But this is how the bun will look.
gonna take the body pins out and just fluff your ponytail back. I think I'm gonna leave it like this for today. This is cute, I've been wearing it in a bun for a lot of days now. I'm just gonna leave it like this. Just keep fluffing it and stuff. Yeah, cute, cute. I hope you guys enjoyed this little tutorial showing you guys how you can get your 360 water weight wig in a natural ponytail or curly messy bun. Everything you need to know about this hair and this hair company will be down below in the description box so you guys can purchase you some of these wigs. Like their wigs are freaking bomb. Shout out to Elva Company. I already did a hair review on this company. It was a different wig, it was much shorter and it was like water wave or whatever. Um, I'll put that link to that down below in the description box so you guys could check that out and see how this hair looks down with the wet style even though it's dry. Um, and yeah, that that hair review got a lot of attention that wig got a lot of attention so here i am doing a different style with their wigs this is not the same way this is a different wig so here i am doing a different style with their wigs and it's bomb like i love their hair so yeah everything you need to know about this hair company will be down below in the description box i hope you guys enjoyed it and i'll see you guys soon peace Hello. I just like it cause she bad. Hello.